Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for Thursday, September 17th, 2020. So yesterday, we had uh, quite a day of economic data. We talked about that yesterday, and it culminated with the FOMC making the decision and the commitment to hold interest rates at historic lows for uh, maybe three years or more um, in in the market. Um, however, the celebration um, of that news didn't last very long. Um, during the press conference, Jerome Powell mentioned uh, uh, tremendous economic uncertainty and um, pointed to the fact that it may take uh, quite some time for employment to recover. So what does that mean for this morning? Well, how about we settle in, grab ourselves something to drink, buckle up, and let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Well, that celebration lasted for about an hour after FOMC made its decision yesterday, and we shot up for a period of time. Let's take a look at the Dow. We shot up for a period of time, about an hour. This is a 15-minute chart. And then suddenly the bears reemerged. They were a bit on the disappointed side. Um, overall, I guess, um, with what Jerome Powell was having to say uh, about the complications of the market and the duration that we may suffer here. And it left behind a very concerning price pattern. This is a shooting star pattern. And if you guys remember, I've been talking about the importance of this resistance high watching this resistance high carefully in here and also watching the whoops. Sorry about that. Watching the um, resistance that is created by the break of the downtrend. And we popped right up into that, almost to the penny there. And we saw those bears re-emerge strongly. This morning we see futures pushing the market down. Now they have recovered from morning lows. They've been down more than 260 points right now. We're only down about 220. Um, right now, but we're looking at a kind of a punishing gap down, particularly if anyone um, kind of bought stocks right here at or near price resistance levels in the chart. Something you always want to remember, guys, is to really be careful about buying up stocks when we are pushing price resistance levels in the market. Now, unfortunately, we also have another complication that's starting to develop here. And um, with the potential of this being a lower high, we have the potential of a head and shoulders top being formed on the Dow. And that possibility uh, or that worry or concern, I think the question now has to become, will we hold this price support? as we pull back. That's going to be the question to be answered now. And if we take a look at our moving averages, I have long said that I expect the 50-day moving average to be tested in the near future. Um, it's possible we could see that test in the very near future at this point. So watch that carefully. If this actually does turn into that lower high that confirms with a lower low, then we are now officially in a market downtrend. And we'll want to stay very focused on that because we know volatility can become very high if that occurs. So let's go ahead and continue to take a look at these indexes. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY also suffering that same complication, leaving behind a bearish engulfing candle yesterday and that bearish engulfing candle occurring right at price resistance. So an uncomfortable situation to be certain, and you can see we're gapping down this morning, trying to lift off of those lows, overnight lows, trying to lift back up here, but certainly leaving a concern here in that chart. Now, our 50-day moving average, um, we could open very near that this morning here in the SPY. It's going to be important 
very important whether or not that holds as support or if we happen to make that lower low. If we make that lower low, then we're going to see the SPY officially be in um, a downtrend and we'll want to be really on our toes if that fear starts to spike up in the market. Let's take a look at the Qs, QQQ. Now we had a problem yesterday. Um, there is a possible antitrust situation going on um, in Microsoft and that really pulled hard on tech stocks. And the majority of tech stocks really suffered pretty, uh, the big techs suffered yesterday um, and just a lack of, uh, of energy. And that's been my concern for some time. We've pushed those techs so high, so far, so fast that um, I made the mention many times that what happens if those techs start to sell? Well, I think we're starting to see that. Um, answer uh, coming to fruition right now and we failed right here at price resistance um, with a uh, uh, doji candle here followed by a bearish engulfing candle and now we're gapping down and likely gapping down below the 50-day moving average here in the SPY. If the selling continues here in those big techs, we could easily make a new low, setting that downtrend here in the NASDAQ. So we'll want to watch that closely. The NASDAQ could really pull us down if those big techs continue to sell off with um, those concerns. So watch that closely. However, if we can find price support in here, if buyers can pick this up, if they defend, we could be okay. But the, it may be a little bit of a stressful morning here for anyone, particularly anyone who picked up stocks yesterday, thinking that the all clear sign had been um, sounded and everything was in good shape. So be really careful. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM had a pretty good day going um, yesterday. Um, we saw a nice increase in, um, in uh, financials and oil sector perking up yesterday but unfortunately we ended that day leaving behind this shooting star type pattern and it happens to be coming in right here at price resistance level in the chart so what's going to be um, important here in IWM is whether or not we hold that 50-day moving average or hold these lows in here if we start sinking down past that we could see some or experience some trouble here in the overall market. So watch that closely. I think the big concern today is definitely going to be the NASDAQ. Will those big techs be able to hold up? Let's take a look at the VIX. Now that VIX, um, kind of a concern yesterday where we were rallying, um, we saw the VIX actually holding up quite well. So we have came, come back, we've held support here at the 50 day moving average here on the VIX three days in a row with a bullish engulfing candle yesterday. Now the VIX is kind of a funny animal. Um, real traditional signals here on the VIX may not be um, really reliable, but certainly that is a concern. And while really what's more of a concern to me is that we may be holding here at some price support levels in the chart. With a gap up or gap down this morning, we could see um, a fear spike beginning to come in on the VIX. So watch that closely. If we really start getting fearful, we could spike up pretty quickly. Watch that carefully. Hopefully those bulls will come in def and defend hard and prevent a major sell-off. But with the volatility that we see in the market, we don't want to discount that possibility could occur. Let's take a look at T2122. T2122, uh, the four week new high, new low ratio. At one point in time, when we were up over 300 points yesterday, about an hour before the close, we were pushing clear up into here on T2122. That pullback that left us only about 30 points up on the Dow um, by the end of the day pulled us back into this area. So now the question becomes with this gap down, what's it going to look like today? Is that possibility that we could um, boom, um, run right back down here into an oversold condition very quickly and then get that um, potential of bouncing back up. That's certainly a possibility. Um, let's hope those bulls really defend 
um, those support levels, that 50 day moving average level, or this could turn into a brutal um, end of the week. Let's watch that carefully. Um, one thing that I have been pointing to is T2101 as a concern. And I was still concerned with that yesterday. If we take a look at this, notice that T2101, absolute market breadth, declined yesterday. Now we, we're holding above this downtrend. We're just holding right onto that. But if we happen to see breadth increasing, and I suspect we will today, market breadth will increase, at least this morning, and it will increase on fear. And a lot of this spike that came up here where we finally got moving was breadth increasing on the selling wave. And I suspect that could occur here and we may bounce off of that support, uh, pushing that higher. So watch that carefully and last but not least um, let's take a look at um, our economic calendar um, today because we do have some concerns in that economic calendar that we'll want to pay attention to um, it could be well this could help or this could hurt us as the as the morning goes on here at 8 30 this morning we have a pretty busy morning on that calendar we have housing starts they're not expecting that to be um a bearish at all uh, may come in a little bit less than last time but that's okay it's been really really strong um then we have have jobless claims and there is that concern we've heard from all these airlines possible layoffs when those will start to kick in um, and really start to show in those unemployment numbers. I don't know, but we'll want to watch that pretty closely this morning. Right now, consensus is expecting a tiny improvement in that that could also help support those bulls today. So watch that close. And then we have the Philly Fed. Um, probably the least likely to move the market today, but something we'll want to pay attention to. Also take a look. Um, we do have a natural gas report and a Fed balance sheet. Nobody seems to care much about those and particularly the Fed balance sheet. They're just growing that thing at an unprecedented level, um, buying up everything in sight. Uh, don't be surprised if you see Jerome Powell buying used tires at garage sales here before too long because they're buying everything in sight trying to support the market. Let's take a look at um, our earnings calendar today. We have kind of a light earnings calendar. Um, there's only about, well, less than 10 confirmed earnings reports. We have a bunch of little tiny um, uh, small caps that may report today, but they're still unconfirmed reports. But we do have a couple of notables that I've put on the list that you might want to take a look at. Um, APOG will be reporting today. We'll want to keep an eye on this stock, as you can see. Um, tried to perk up yesterday. Well, it's perking up this morning, I should say. Trying to perk up, um, and we'll want to pay attention to that. Um, uh, building materials have been very, very strong um, here lately, and let's see if that can kind of move up and get going here. So we pay attention to that. And about the only other one that I could come up with that's even somewhat notable is CMD. We'll want to pay attention to this on its earnings report. Holding a support level in here after breaking through certainly has some resistance up here to deal with. Um, keep an eye on that report. It may help that finally break through and, and continue this trend higher. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, I want to um, ask you guys for a favor. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon, I would truly, truly appreciate it um, so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. And also, guys, if you feel that this video was helpful in um, um, helping you prepare for the day. If you could do me a favor and click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. I really appreciate it. I do read all of those comments lately. I haven't had enough time to answer them all, but I will be getting back to that here um, right away, answering those comments. Thank you so much for everyone who does do that. Um, I truly, truly appreciate it. And also, please feel free to share these videos on any of the social media platforms that um, you tend to use. Let's take a look um, at some of these stocks. And remember, any stock that I 
post here in these videos is not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. You have to do your own due diligence on these charts and make sure that these actually set up for you. First, I want to point out maybe a problem here um, in if you're looking for some short trades. Um, take a look at um, AMD. AMD struggling here. A uh, possible lower high has come in on the chart. We're breaking some price support here in this chart. With the, the tech problems that are coming in, you might want to start watching some of these big techs um, that really kind of got carried away in their rallies. And um, they could be pulling back, and now there may be some short trades in here to think about. Um, Adobe. Um, is one yesterday that really came into looking pretty darn sick yesterday with this higher low bearish engulfing candle and it looks like it's following through today. Could be some short trade setting up in here. I've already mentioned Microsoft and their worries um, of an antitrust suit from the federal government. Notice that we broke down here in the chart, consolidated um, over to the um, right and now we're starting to break this lower. Watch this price support here in the chart if Microsoft really breaks down through there. We could have some problems um, coming here in some of the big techs. Take a look at um, Apple. Apple had its big um, product reveal and they had some really good products. I gotta admit, I was kind of impressed, but as you can see, um, not being supported here in price. And I think it's just showing a little bit of weariness here in the market on some of these big techs. So watch them carefully. Those could be some places to look for short trades. Some places that you might look for some long trades, take a look at Berkshire B. Uh, the baby Berkshire holding up quite well in this chart. And you can see that I've actually placed a price alert here um, in this area. We're dealing with some price resistance and we've been in a very nice uptrend here on Berkshire. So if that can hold this price support in here, I would be watching in here any opportunity that that might poke on through that level. Keep an eye on that chart. Kohl's has been um, perking up here nicely. And as a matter of fact, some members of Rightway Options did buy this. I, I didn't buy it yesterday because I hold quite a few positions at the moment. But um, Kohl's perking up, and as you can see, breaking that downtrend, holding up nicely, and we've pushed up and maybe consolidating that over to the trend. Might wanna keep an eye on Kohl's for that opportunity that retail may pick up here and kick through to the um, upside. Watch that closely. Um, keep an eye on 3M. 3M is one that I've been watching, and honestly, I'm thinking about this for a longer term hold. If I take a look at this on a weekly, notice this big pattern here that's forming in the chart, that possible inverted head and shoulders on the weekly that I'm paying attention to. This is a good divvy pair and one that may start coming back around. On the daily chart, you can see we've had this upside trend. We broke through some resistance here in the chart and we've been consolidating that move. If you look at the drawings that I have here on the chart, I actually had an alert here on this chart right here. I ended up not buying it, just um, holding quite a few positions at the moment. And I wanna watch and see if this will hold in this area, consolidate over. And then I might be picking up uh, 3M here before too long. Take a look at some of the financials that started to pick up yesterday. Take a look at WFC. WFC trying to come up off of this bottom, pushing into some price resistance levels here in the chart. We're gonna want to watch this pretty carefully, particularly with the selling today. If we can consolidate against this resistance or rest right in here, you might wanna watch for a possibility of that popping on through. And if we take a look at the moving averages, notice that what we did here just recently in um, WFC is we broke back above its 50-day moving average. So any rest or pullback that holds that moving average creates a pattern that we call the rounded bottom breakout. And tends to be a very productive and profitable pattern. So if that can hold, kind of keep an eye in there. You might also want to take a look at stocks like Morgan Stanley. Morgan Stanley's been trying to hold. It was trying to perk up yesterday. Um, 
there, all of these that we're trying to move up could experience some pressure here today, so watch that closely. Another couple places that you might want to look for potential shorts. Take a look at Valero Energy. Valero not looking good at all. And if you notice, we've run up here to the price resistance level in this downtrend. We had broken down through this support. Um, rallied back to test it as resistance, leaving behind kind of a shooting star pattern. Any follow through on this to the downside could suggest that downtrend continues. So we're gonna have to stay on our toes here and expect some volatility in the market today. Um, it's gonna be very interesting whether or not those bulls will be able to step up and defend those support levels around the 50 day moving averages of the indexes. If they can, we'll be in good shape. If they fail there, if the bears um, overwhelm them and push back down, we could officially begin a downtrend here in the indexes here very, very soon. So stay on your toes, stay focused. I want to wish you all a fantastic day um, in your trading and wish you great profits. Everyone take care. We'll see you right back here bright and early Friday morning. Have an awesome, awesome day.